Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, let's get started on 24 hour temperature cast. Got numbers for the most part close to 70 this morning. Got a little variety going on. I think we're going to see a whole bunch of lower, if not middle 90s again today. Hoping a little bit of a change in wind direction means just a little bit less hot compared to the last three days where we've been at 95 or higher. And then I think overnight we're going to see a lot of temperatures for a while. Stay up there close to 70 degrees. Maybe if we're lucky, some of the cooler spots can dip back into the mid 60s. I do see a few clouds in spots. And I think that's how it's going to be today in the next couple of days. Clouds in spots, but otherwise more clear than cloudy. And that will play with the temperature just a little bit. When we have some clouds in the overnight, that's when temperatures stay up. When we have clearer in the overnight, that's when temperatures get a little bit lower. Nice to see Thomasville back at 64. Tallahassee checking in at 69. No report currently from Valdosta. And if we take a look around the region, we're going to see a little variety of those numbers. Blakely's at 63, but Bainbridge is at 70. It's 72 in Cross City. Live Oaks at 64. Quincy's at 66, Moultrie's at 67. It's not real breezy out there, and I don't think it's going to be. If we do notice a little bit of a breeze today, it'll have more of a northerly component to it, and hopefully that means a little less humid out there. Still going to be hot. Of course it is. We're at the end of May here. This is the time of year where the temperatures do start cranking, and we'll start to look over the next week or so for those afternoon sea breezes to start getting a little bit more active to help knock some of those temperatures down with not just the breeze, but a couple of pop-up showers. I think our shower chances are going to stay awfully limited for another couple of days. But over the weekend, we'll start to reintroduce some of those. I don't see a lot of fog out there. I don't expect a lot of fog, at least not today. As we start to reacquire more of that humidity by the weekend, we'll start to look for a little bit more patchy fog. Out west, there's going to be some energy that has a tough time making a lot of progress east. We had a weak boundary finally make it through the areas where that rain from the other night came from. The next boundary is not going to be able to do very much or get all the way through. Higher pressure behind it will reassert itself, and things are going to be awfully nice up and down the East Coast, although they're going to start getting warm everywhere. Now, on the future cast, maybe we find a couple of isolated showers tomorrow afternoon or Friday afternoon, but I think those are going to be really, really, really small chances until the winds change direction again. We start to bring back a little bit more of that moisture, and as we head towards the upcoming weekend and we start to get into June, now we start looking for that afternoon sea breeze to kick in. And the more that that gets active, once we start to initiate those afternoon showers, those can continue down the road. So we're at that point in the year now where we start to look for them, still not expecting them, not for another couple of days. I think we're going to keep it pretty quiet, pretty dry. And after all the rain we had the other night, it'll be nice to get a couple more days to dry right back out. On the Gulf today, winds out of the northeast, shifting a little bit more northwest. We generally lie up to 15 knots. Seas up to about three feet. So mostly sunny and decent conditions out there for the boaters. The water temperatures are up near 83. So that water is awfully warm already, and we're not even into June yet. 60s and 70s this morning. We'll call it mostly clear. Sunrise will be 637. I think for this afternoon, we're expecting top temperatures in the low 90s. Now, the last three days have been 95, 95, 96. Uh, hopefully, we stop around 92 or 93 today. Still hot, still hotter than normal, but hopefully not as hot as it's been, and it should be a little less humid today. We'll go mid 60s in the cool spots. A lot of us probably upper 60s to near 70. All right, here's that seven day forecast. We will start to introduce some better opportunities for pop up showers in the afternoons starting this weekend. I don't think anyone's weekend plans are going to get washed away, but I do think by Saturday and Sunday, those afternoon showers start becoming a little bit more of a thing for these next couple of days. We're hoping to keep those temperatures below 95. It's been awfully hot for these past couple of days. It's uh, still going to be awfully hot for the next couple of days.